Hi, this is the Anarcha Archive, and I'm J.C. Holman. In previous videos, we looked at Anarcha's life at Old Mansion in Bowling Green, Virginia. Today, we'll continue to look at those years and begin to look at the final steps of Anarcha's life. Whoa, 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 whoa. As we saw earlier, Anarcha was living here as of about 1854. In late 1856, she was sent to New York City to become the nursemaid of her enslaver's second wife and to be experimented on again by J. Marion Sims at Woman's Hospital. She returned to Old Mansion in early 1857. She remained here for approximately six more years, working as a midwife and likely as the plantation nurse or doctor among the enslaved population. A couple more things can be said about Anarka's time here. As we know from later documents, Anarka came to be married to a man named Lorenzo. When and how did she meet Lorenzo? It's a lot to go into, believe me, but as we described in an earlier video, there was a horse track in front of the old mansion house and horse racing was a major recreation in Virginia at this time. Anarka would soon be leaving old mansion and where she would go next, and this took me a while to figure out, would be another plantation with a horse racing venue. It seems very likely that Anarka met her future husband as a result of plantation owners traveling to one another's properties for races and festivities. This document from Old Mansion reveals that Anarka, or Anki, as we saw in previous videos, gave birth again in 1858. This was her sixth pregnancy. This document reveals births to women enslaved by William L. Morey at the time. S.B. stands for stillborn. Since there is no later record of this birth, this child appears to have been sold away. That makes sense with what we know about the Morey family and the eventual fate of Old Mansion. The Moreys were a cotton family, and as the Civil War approached, their finances began to suffer. Anarka's enslaver and his cousin, Matthew Fontaine Morey, resigned from the Navy to join the Confederate Navy, and as the war began, all farming production was given over to growing food for soldiers. When the war erupted, it was quite close. Some early battles were only 30 or 40 miles away. And then came the Battle of Fredericksburg, just a dozen miles to the north of Bowling Green and Old Mansion. That's when the Moreys sold Old Mansion. William L. Morey and his wife, Anne Fontaine Morey, sold everything to a man named James T. White, their brother-in-law. Old Mansion would remain in the White family for a number of generations to come. What that means is that for a very short time, ownership of Anarka was passed from William L. Morey to James T. White, but she wouldn't remain at Old Mansion for much longer. Morey family correspondents took note of the moment when the Morey family could no longer afford to maintain all of the enslaved people they owned. Here, Anarka's fate is listed alongside that of Fanny, a horse. So Anarka left Old Mansion in late 1862 or perhaps early 1863. Next time, we'll piece together the final steps of Anarka's life and verify that the last chapter of her life intersected with the legacy of the family of Thomas Jefferson. Whoa, whoa, whoa.